Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and today uh, we're still in Birmingham, Alabama, and we have come to Independent Presbyterian Church. Uh, joining me is Dr. Jeff McClelland. You're the organist here and director of music. Is that your correct title? Yes. Wonderful. Um, this is a 2012 Dobson, uh, and it's a, it's a big instrument. How many ranks do we have in this organ? About 86. 86, okay, so it's, it's a large instrument, um, and it's made from uh, some parts of other organs, but Dobson has completely made it into a, a cohesive instrument, and uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit, and it's, it's uh, amazing, beautiful sounds in here. Um, so i just like to hear some of it. Can we, let's just start with the Great Division, um, and I would like to hear just the principal chorus, how you build that up. big open dial pace and It's a big full sound. Um, now you started with the eight foot principle. We heard that, but we also have in this division an eight foot open diapason uh, in addition to it. Let me hear just the open diapason by itself. It's a, it's a much bigger, more round sound than the, than the eight foot principle. Um, and then we also have a 16 foot principle, which is out here in the facade, I believe. Some of it yes. is at least. Yeah. Let's hear the, just the bottom end of that, just because it's such a nice light sound. Yeah, big and full, but not real loud and in your face. Wonderful. All right. And then we have a couple of flutes uh, in this division as well. Okay. Three flutes, actually. Chimney flute. with the four foot. And then there's a harmonic flute okay, as well. Okay, yeah, the harmonic flute by itself. Yeah, a very clear sound on that. Okay, and then, uh, oh yeah, and then, and we have an eight-foot gamba uh, at the bottom there. Yeah. So there are five eight-foot flues, mm -hmm. so you can build them up. Yeah, nicely all kind of the same volume, none of them are really loud, so they blend and, and give you something bigger than themselves. Right. That's lovely. Right. Okay. We also have a three rank cornet. Okay. The, Does that go with the flutes? Yeah, it goes with the flutes. Is that only partial compass then? For Yeah, it goes down to... Okay. And down to yeah. tenor. Tenor C, yeah. Okay. Tenor G, I tenor mean. G. And then, you know, we have a, you want to contrast it with the other cornets? Yeah, sure. Okay, so the cornet on the um, choir is also a flute cornet. Then we have the, uh, on the principal side, the, um, on the, A lot of times it can be just used with the principles. It's amazing to have three cornets, one on each manual, and they're right. all so different. Right. Uh, that's handy. All right. Uh, and then back in the grate, we have uh, three reeds in there, don't we? Uh, well, we have a posana that's extended down, and then just we have the yeah, trumpet and the clarion. Let's start with that eight foot trumpet. Okay. Uh, Yeah, and the 
clarion. It works well with the principal chorus. cap on the top. And Pisana is just an alternative. We were gonna, we, we had the 16 originally so that we'd have the reed chorus. And then we decided to go ahead and extend that so we could have a, a separate against the trumpet. It's handy to have yeah. your different sizes there. All right, very good. Right. Uh, and that's our great division. We have our, a couple of reeds borrowed from other divisions, but we'll talk about those when we get to them. Um, now we're here in the in the actually in the front of the church. We're above the pulpit, um, and we have the, the organ on either side of us. Uh, the great is obviously over here on the right. Um, right. Where are the other divisions? The located? swell is also with the great. Okay. So you so want to swell go over the there? Swell yeah, next. let's go to the swell since we're on that side. All right. So eight foot dive pacing is a little darker. It's got a little bit of a stringy edge to yeah. it, though, too. It's really good for accompanying, actually. So, And then add the forefoot. Pleasure. Nice bright chorus there, but yeah. all of that can be closed down, so it's right. give you something smaller. Right. Yeah, so we get uh, closed down. So yeah, very nice. Yeah, it doesn't close down too much, so <laughs> it keeps it keeps it present in the room okay. as a foil. All right, and then we have some flutes. Okay, a Borden. Harmonic flute and a four. Now together. Okay. Okay. And then there's also, we heard our cornet there with a two and two thirds, right. one and three right. fifths on top of those. Okay, the viol. String. The Celeste. Yeah, very nice. I think all of these stops on the swell are new except for the flute Celeste. Originally, it was a flute two, uh, mm -hmm. two rank Celeste that was together, so we separated them. So that's the original E.M. Skinner. So it shuts down pretty nicely. That's as soft as the organ gets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Oboe. Vought uh, amount with tremolo. I can add that flute, flute flute dolce. Kind of beef it up just a little bit. This is kind of nice. nice. Yeah, and then trumpet. As I get on to compare it to the trumpet yes. on the because it's on it's great. pretty big. Yeah, not as big as the great, definitely. So, yeah, so then with the eight, 16, 8, and 4. Okay. okay. Yeah, big chorus there. All right, and again, then we have some things that are borrowed, but we'll we'll get to those. So now, is that that's everything that's on that side? That's it, and then so the, the pedal is kind of developed between the two sides. All right, we'll yeah. look at that one. So let's come over to this side. So we have choir, solo, and and more pedal over there. Let's start with the choir so division, I guess. This whole this whole chamber over here is is enclosed from top to bottom. Oh, really? So that you have the choir on two mat levels over here. So starting with the principal. I guess that's meant to be the smaller version of the great. A little bit smaller. Yeah, very similar, okay. but yeah. a little softer. Yeah, it's in. Go up to two. And 
this um, mixture is uh, the highest mixture on the organ. I originally wanted um, uh, a, the Caroline, the two rank Caroline that has really, really high pitches, yeah, yeah. and we decided to go ahead and make the uh, two rank sharp mixture uh, an extension of the regular four rank mixture. So oh, okay. when you pull both of them on, you have a six rank six. mixture, and it goes well with the 16. I don't use a sharp mixture a whole lot, but even with almost full organ going, if you just pull that thing on, you can hear it just pop well, was, out the top. Imagine if you have you got the great chorus on and you couple that in, that probably just adds that. Yeah, extra it's, just, it's just a little pop. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a wonderful little little thing. The the nice the nice sort of thing about this big, big choir division that we have is that it has so much variety that you can have just amazing amount of uh, combinations. Oh yeah, I bet. Okay, so. There's, there's a big flute uh, contention, uh, starting with the Gadek. Then a four foot chimney. And then two recorder. And then the Mazard. Tiers. Alergo one and a third. Finally, the one piccolo. So you can do all yeah, sorts a lot of, of colors to mix with. Interesting there. things. <laughs> so, like, you, if you want, like, eight, four, and one, and you can color it a little bit. So you can have an interesting yeah, variety. Like Synthesizer there to make yeah. some match. Yeah, so it's fun to <laughs> fun to monkey around with different sounds over there. Okay, and we have some strings in this division as well. And there's um, the well, the gims horn. This is from the old organ. It missed, meant to go with the undamaris. And then they extended the gims horn down for the sixteen. So that's the same six, eight yeah. and sixteen. Works well with the principal chorus. Or at least that. So that yeah. works well. The solitional is, was a fun stop because we needed something a little brighter. And you can add, sometimes you can use it with the Uno Mars. Maybe not today. It's getting hot up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine, like the great, you can probably mix the solutional with the gedect or the yeah. principal to give those some extra color. Yeah, you can do a lot of different different things with that. Okay, the the corno de amore was from the original organ. It was on the swell before. They had to up the wind pressure on that because of, of that. Um, and we decided in order to give us a 16 read on every manual, we, we extended the corno down and, and that helped uh, with that idea. And, and that, that's a nice variety there yeah. as well. It's an interesting color, sort of between an English horn and an overall right, right. covered, but bright at the same time. That's right. interesting. And then this trumpet. It was originally on the grate, and it was a tromba. Okay. And uh, but when they moved it over here, they had to uh, change the wind pressure, so it brightened the organ, the trumpet up quite a bit. It was a big, dark, round uh, yeah. uh, sound, but I still like it. I think it's wonderful, and it works well with, with um, you know, uh, the. And because this whole choir is under an expression like that, as it usually is, it has a double um, expression shades. Mm. I mean, as far as double thickness, yeah. so it really does shut down. Even even more so than say the, the swell does. So I can accompany you know twelve singers on. on Big howls, magnificos, and it doesn't blow them away on huh. this kind of stuff, and then gradually add some other things to it. Yeah, I see. 
So okay. very versatile. That's our choir division. We also have then in there a solo with some stops. The solo it. division is also enclosed and it's enclosed inside the choir division, so it's a doubly enclosed. Oh, and so you you have a separate right. Control. So I have a separate control for that. Wow. But uh, we decided we well, want some real keen strings. been so hot lately that they're on two different levels and so they've almost <laughs> they leveled out. Yeah, right. You're not even hearing the Celeste anymore, but that's okay. This orchestral flute is one of my favorite stops because it's really got a lot of partials. Sometimes I think there's somebody up there playing the flute so in the chamber. <laughs> yes, it really is Big beautiful the way that yeah. works. Uh, this French horn was from the old organ. I don't think it was Skinner, but it was from the old organ. And then this clarinet was from the old organ as well. That is Skinner. So you got some little little bank of color yeah, stops and that nice kind of big, stuff. And they're nice and clear too in the room. Right. They really sing out. But you know, like like this this uh, Celeste, if you close the box, the solo box. Then close the choir box. You have a huge <laughs> amount of expression. That's amazing. And uh, so you can do a lot of interesting things with that. Um, like when you throw the clarinet with the viola the orchestra. It, it gets to be a little bit more English horn sounding. The clarinet with a bite. So there's interesting things that, that you get into huh? it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you got the two tubas, the, the uh, largest is the tuba mirabilis, which is also on the great and yeah, on the, the one that's uh, borrowed over here. on the swell. Okay. Since the solo and the choir live on the bottom manual, you can turn one or, all, or the other off depending on which division or use both of them at the same time. Um, we did that instead of opting for a fourth manual because I was able to get a smaller uh, console and I could have more chairs the behind the, uh, <laughs> we're kind of landlocked up here. Yeah, and right. So I think it works out quite nicely. And then this uh, other tube is a little softer. Um, and it is um, uh, done at 8, 16, and 4, 16, 8, and 4. You got a lot of that's amazing. Yeah. I know <laughs> that is a lot of fun. All right, and then the oh, we party, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, electronic harp. That's that's from the old um, organ, the oh, old okay. Peterson system. I think it was on there. These are real chimes, and they're up in the uh, swell division as well. Okay. So, yeah, um, well, that's all of our, our manual stops down here. Um, so, let's uh, we, we also have back in the back of the church an antiphonal division of a few ranks. The, um, um, the, the, the original organ was so far recessed into the chambers that it, on, for hymns it didn't get out very well. Yeah. And so in the 70s, Moeller added the division back there in order to keep the congregation together on hymns. And it really uh, was important because, I mean, when I first came, it was the old organ with everything. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I would take the antiphonal off like for the second verse and the congregation would get like one beat behind me. Wow. <laughs> and then as soon as I put it back on, they were right with me again. So you had to use that antiphonal. Use but because of the way the new design is, more the cases are pulled out into the room more and there's actual speaking pipes in the cases when it used to be just facade pipes. And, and so the, uh, the grate and everything is right I'm almost in the yeah. room. So the organ really gets out of the room better now, and I, don't, I hardly <laughs> ever use the antiphonal anymore, but, but it's a floating division. And uh, so this is, they did about a day's work, a, wor a worth of work on it. Kind of brighten it up a little bit. Moeller had also come in the 70s and put a little four stop positif division in here. And so they, they, they did have a two foot flute back there with those, those, all those principles and it never was in tune. <laughs> oh. So when we redid it, they took the two foot principle from the positif and put it back there. So now, and then the plageur. And 
And again, I think that was originally like a five rank or something, and they or six rank or something, and they knocked it down so it wouldn't Four, be so quite yeah. so <laughs> nutty, you know. No, that sounds really appropriate. I can imagine yeah. if you had a big crowd. Though. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I can use it, and then of course for effect to go back and forth between the two, mm -hmm. it's, it's, as an antiphonal should. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun. Well, and then there's also a reed back there. It's, right. It's not here. It the shows up in the other. major trumpet. And that was taken to the shop and totally revoiced and rebuilt. So that so, was a molar that they just yeah, you know, and they just so that that sounds totally different really. than it used to. <laughs> so when you play the tuba up front, and then the trumpet in the back, they're almost they are the same volume. Yeah. And so when you sit in the middle of the room and you play one or the other, you really can't tell where they're coming <laughs> from. It's really kind of interesting. But then when you add them together, it is just a wildness. You know, so it's just all over the room. It does, yeah, yeah. It just fills the whole space. Yeah. Very nice. Well, let's come over to the pedal division and talk about what we have here. Okay. Um, so um, again, some of the uh, some of the facade in the is that the pedal principle? Yeah. The uh, the uh, pedal the great principle at sixteen is over here in, in the, on the right side, and then the octave is on the left side. So that this is an independent stop. So that's kind We've of fun. Those we can do that. That's nice. So, so we have an actually, uh, if you count the uh, sixteen in the in the antiphonal, which I don't use that oh, often, nice. but if you still you still have the um, the, the sixteen octave, which is. The smallest, I guess, would be the swell borden coming down, and then the next would be the sub bass. Okay. So the sub bass sixteen is in is in the swell uh, uh, choir division. Oh, okay. So, so can... I can actually control its volume by using the choir shades, and so if I want to use it to accompany, say, like the flute celeste on the uh, on the swell, and I close the swell, then the pedal's too big, so I can mm -hmm. close the choir. And you know, and it balances out. So there's a lot of a lot of variety of things like that for it. Um, the um, and then you've got uh, a big open die pacing over there, which is our big big boomer, and then that's extended for the to the eight bass flute, and then extended to uh, extended down to the contra die pacing. Goes uh, 32, 16, and eight. Okay. Yeah, the way that's really thing effective works. down there. Yeah, it, yes. So the organ has four 32s. Uh, the big, this, that is a, it's got a stopper in it, but it's still a big old, big old fat <laughs> wooden bass. The uh, contra borden is an electronic, mm. and it was from the other organ, and I asked them to keep it because it's perfectly for effect for the small things. And it just, mm -hmm. you can just feel it more than anything. Yeah. That's the idea. And then the, on the reed side, you have the contra bombard, which is full length. It goes all the way from the floor to the ceiling and in, in the chamber, and then that's extended to the 16 bomb. It's obviously the big things. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this Grand Harmonic 32 is. Um, I heard that on, on the organ in, at Highland Park Methodist in Dallas, and I loved it. And apparently, it's this, I understand it's the same um, combination of stops that is in Woosley Hall at Yale. Okay. And so, and, and so when you, of course, you play it by itself, it doesn't mean much, but it really does work well when you are playing, you know. So it's a small 32 yeah. reed sound, and it really works well. Mimicking the upper. And so yeah. when I, again, when this organ is a fabulous accompanying organ for small, small and larger choirs, I can really shut it down, and that, and that grand harmonic adds that 32 bite that you need for some quiet. of that yeah. big British stuff that we do. Okay. Yeah. And then there's some barred things like the, the so, uh, in the sole of the trombone, which again can be adjusted the volume just by closing it. So a lot of times I'll use that as my my accompanying 16 yeah. and I can I can open just a little bit if I need to, to to adjust it you know the volume that kind of stuff and then the great 16 uh, Posana mm -hmm. is there and uh, so I've got you know three 16, 16 reeds 
uh, four thirty-two of different different volumes of scans, uh, and a nice uh, flute chorus. That four-foot flute from solo is down there, down up on the pedal. You know, so all the way through. And so the nice thing about the design of this organ that I found to be so useful is that I can go from uh, fortissimo to pianissimo in every division, strings, wow, just yeah. strings alone, or principles alone, or flutes alone, or reeds yeah. alone. And uh, so it's, it really offers you just an, literally an endless variety of, of choices. And so as a result, everybody who comes and plays the organ in our November organ recital series, the organ sounds totally different. They just put their personality on it, and just and it's just incredible. It can sound French, it can sound German, you know. Good day. Well, you know, not, not, not like German <laughs> organs, but it can it can play Bach very well. Mm -hmm. It can play you know uh, French very well, mm -hmm. Franck, and it's got so. quite a variety of colors. And here. it does a lot of transcriptions very oh, well. Oh, I bet too. yeah, so. with all those like, orchestral colors. Yeah. So we start by walking out of the sanctuary here and into the other parts of the church and we have to go upstairs. And 
This little closet leads us right into a door into the chamber, so here we are. This side, uh, we're on the grate and swell, so we're looking at some great pipes. Tremolo controls right there in front of us. Signatures of the organ builders there, hidden behind this pole. And all on these upside down pedal opens here. Here's the bottom of the 32-foot Bombard. It goes all the way up between the grate and the swell. And we go up and we're on this walk board and we can reach the top of the pedal pipes here. the way we see more pedal open pipes there, the low end of that, against the wall. And then going forward we find ourselves in the lower grate area. We have reed pipes and some of the principal here. We're right behind the facade here on this side. Behind us is a ladder that takes us upstairs. One more look here at the pedal pipes behind us. Again, this is sort of the higher end of the 32-foot bombard. Even more up there on a chest off the floor. This is not Dobson pipework back here. This is from the older organ. So up the ladder we go through the trapdoor. We see more pedal pipes. More pedal reeds. We're looking down there at the 32, and then that's the bottom octave going all the way up to the ceiling. The 16 foot opens. Squeezed under the ceiling. We can see the swell back there, some shades poking through. The ladder for reaching the tops of these pipes, which you need to access tuning flaps or voicing scrolls. But continuing on, we find the top of the grate. This is where our upper work, our flutes are. There's the mounted cornet. Looking out, we can see the other facade across the way. Now we've gone back down to the floor and we've crawled over uh, underneath the swell and there's a trap door that lets us go up into the swell. Looking up, we see reed pipes and see that there's two layers. And here we are. First thing I notice is most of these pipes in this division are old pipes. the wall. And then the 16-foot reed, again, not Dobson pipe, some older ones from the previous instrument. The oboe and the vox humana are here at the front of the chest. Bottom octave of the oboe is conical, and then it goes to bells, there at tenor C. Now we've gone up the ladder and we are on the second level of the swell. Still some old pipework up here, but more of this looks new. More of the Borden back here against the wall. See our 
16, 8, and 4 reeds, and then the diapason is there at the front, and the diapason is slotted. Somebody was asking me after a previous video what we meant when we said slotted. These pipes have slots cut in the front when you see that style of, of tuning and voicing on them. Add some extra harmonic development to the pipe. Now we're back down here on the floor again. There's the electronics for the organ, and we're going to go back out the door. We've retraced our steps into the church. That's where we were back there behind that facade. We go back into the sacristy here, and there's a trap door that takes us up into the other side. Here we come up directly underneath the chests. So we see two ladders going up. I want to point out throughout the organ there are these pairs of buttons for blower cutout and organ on and off. So for a technician working in the instrument, uh, he or she can control the power to the organ if they need to open a chest and you want the blower shut off. Now we've come up the first trap door. We're right here by the back wall and we are in the solo division. You can see the French horn right there in front. Our strings. And of course this is a two-layer chamber in here, so there is the upper solo above us. And there are the shades, and the shades are speaking out into the choir division. So that's the choir still in there. And nice double thick shades there. Going on up, we're now in the upper solo. We have our 16, 8, and 4 reeds here. tuba and the bigger trumpet. And the floors here are made of a grate to allow sound uh, to travel through more easily. We also have some chimes. And then there is the upper choir through the shades. So we're going to head that way next. Again, once again, we have uh, controls here to turn the organ off if needed. And we're back underneath, and we're going to crawl over to the second ladder. And this is the one that takes us up into the choir. There's the solo shade speaking into the chamber, and then the choir shades speak out through the facade there. There's even a little door to get out to the facade pipes. But just a close look at the choir trumpet, which is definitely some older pipe work. And some newer upper work there in the middle. Here's a 16-foot gims horn and the 16-foot uh, extension of the Corno de Amore. I think it's called Corno de Bassetto in the 16-foot, but the older pipes here. We're going to go through this door, and it takes us out into the facade. There's a little walk board and a ladder to let you access the facade pipes for tuning. And to let you get way down there, some little walk boards, I suppose for standing if needed, but I opted not to go exploring out there. Coming back in, here's another look at the 16-foot Gems horn, which extends up into the upper choir, so we're going there now, and here we are. Once again, we have some grates for the floors here to let sound come through. And we're in the, you can see how the uh, shades have been matched to the architecture of the church there to fit into the opening. That's the pedal sub bass that's under expression here in the choir against the wall in front of us. And then looking down at the 16-foot Gems horn, which has been carefully mitered to miss the 
air conditioning system here. Now we're back underneath and I just wanted to take a quick look at this older regulator, which is right next to a new one. Some reused parts from the previous organ. We didn't really look at the antiphonal. There's not a lot to see, just a couple of chests with some pipes planted on them. But the windows back here are really nice. Jeff, this is fantastic. Thank you for showing us around this Dobson organ from 2012. It's it's just an amazing palette of colors you've got to play with. It must be just a joy it every is. Sunday. I, I, I can imagine trying to find new things is, is almost a challenge <laughs> because you want to try something else. And, and I'm just playing with it a little bit. I have. It's just it's a lot of fun. So uh, this looks like a great instrument to, to, to use. Thank you for letting us come in today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give us a thumbs up down below. And remember to subscribe. We still have some videos coming out from Alabama. Uh, so you'll want to get notifications when those are coming out, so click the little bell. Uh, and Dobson Organ Builders is a member of APOBA, the Associated Pipe Organ Builders of America. They are a group of member organ builders who uh, uphold stringent standards in pipe organ building and design. For more information about your closest APOBA builder, go to their website at apoba.com. Uh, in the meantime, if you'd like to help us make more videos, you can become a sponsor of the Organ Media Foundation by going to organ.media and clicking on support. You can help us get out and find wonderful instruments like this and wonderful organists like Jeff uh, who can show these things off to us. So uh, until then, remember, you can find streaming classical organ music on our three stations, OregonLive.com, Positively Baroque, and The Organ Experience. Until next time, I'm Brent Johnson. Thank you for watching.